Hi, Nick koenig Aaron here from Optimize Consultancy. Recently, one of my clients had a bit of an issue with one of their new members of staff using SharePoint not quite the way that the client wanted it to uh, be used. So I put together a little video that I hope helps them out and I thought I'd share that same video with you. Okay, the essence of the issue was that each new client has a folder set up for themselves with several other folders inside it and certain documents that each client must um, have filled out for them, fact finding documents and so on. And so we're just keeping everything nice and neat together. So we have a SharePoint site set up and in there we have a document library called client details. At the moment there is just a single folder in there which is the new client template folder. So I'll just show you what's in there. We've got three other folders, one which is for all the background information relating to the client, uh, ID scans, so when we've scanned in their passport and uh, other documentation that's required by us uh, we can store it into that folder. Old records so that when we've had uh, contact with the client that's no longer relevant uh, but we need to keep it for a period of time then we can store that into the old records folder until it's time to destroy it. And there's a couple of other documents in there as well which are template documents like the client details and the uh, connections which is a spreadsheet for the frequency of connection with that client and uh, the outcomes of those connections. That doesn't really matter. The point is the whole group is a template for each cl new client. So I have the new one new client uh, template folder. All I need to do is go to the show actions button at the side and choose copy to. On the right hand side we can see we need to specify where we're going to copy it to so I'm going to copy it into the current library and I'm just going to say copy here. So I have a, a copy of the template file here and I can just rename this to this, a suitable name for the new client. So I just right click on the name here and choose rename. So now I've got my new client folder maintaining intact the original folder. All of the content of this folder is created exactly the same as in the original one but you can see that it's for that particular client now. Okay. I hope that's been useful for you. If you have any queries, drop me a note. That'd be great. And uh, maybe see you again in the next video. Thanks.